today I'm going on a boat tour to one of the uh, Rio Formosa Islands. Um, it's a hop on hop off boat tour. And I'm gonna stop on the island and go for a bit of a dive today. If, if possible, the water looks a lot more calm than it was yesterday, but we'll see how the, the beach conditions are. Um, yeah, I should be leaving soon. I'm gonna try and vlog a bit more today. Um, because yesterday I left my camera, well, I left my main vlogging camera at the hotel because I didn't realize that uh, the tour that I went on was going to be a lot of like walking around and stuff. I thought we were just going to go like straight into the water. Um, so I only had my like dive camera with me, but today I've got my vlog camera and my dive camera, so I will try and film a little bit more, or at least until my battery dies. But yeah, guys, so this is where I'm at now, just in the marina. Um, and I'll be going on. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a yellow boat behind me. I'm gonna be going on that that boat back there. And um, I think they said it would take about 15 minutes from here, so it's not too long. It's just off the uh, docks of Faro. Uh, 50 minute trip. I think I paid about 15 quid for two separate tickets. Um, but it's actually cheaper than that. It's just because I I want to come at a later time, so I bought a ticket for a different like ferry so that I could stay a bit longer and come back on a different one. Um, so yeah, lots of options guys. Uh, I'll show you guys the booth there. That's the booth over there. Um, the captain is there. Or the skipper, I should say. And uh, yeah, we'll be leaving soon. So I'll cut this short here, and um, I'll hop back on the vlog a bit later on. Cheers. What's up everybody? So, I have made it to this island, I think it's part of the Rio Formosa Island. So look at these rafts. Those are rafts. Didn't expect to see that. Um, right, so I've made it to one of these uh, islands. I'll be a bit careful, I reckon, because I'm walking and I'm seeing uh, some type of like animal holes. I reckon perhaps there's some inhabitants on this island, but uh, yeah, I'm looking for I'm looking for the way to this little like beach area so I can go for a swim. I haven't got long here. Um, I think I can only swim for about an hour and a half, two hours max. But uh, try and make the best of it, I suppose. Sorry, guys, my uh, angles aren't the best. But uh, I don't know if I want to swim here or if there's a better part. another part with like um, beach chairs and stuff like that I'm not quite sure where to go um, but yeah I've had a bit of an interesting situation since I've come here well, I decided to uh, oh is that shark tooth this is that rock oh, I don't know what this is guys I thought I found a shark tooth for a minute so now I think it's a rock. Um, that's a nice shell, guys. I had a nice bit of fish um, for my brunch, and um, you know I was feeling good. I was thinking, okay, it's a good start to the day so far. Got my peace of mind, my own space. My battery is quite low on this camera, so I'm gonna have to cut this soon. But let me just show you quickly where I'm at. I've just walked from all the way down there uh, where those boats are docked up. And uh, walked all the way over here. And I think I'm gonna swim somewhere here because uh, the water doesn't seem too rough. Uh, and the current is, current is coming in towards me in this area. So, 
yeah I think this is probably like a good spot just because it's a bit safer if the current takes me uh, if it takes me a little bit then I'm coming in towards uh, I'm coming in towards the beach area here but let me just see quickly what's over here if the camera if the vlog stops and my cameras died um, and I will try and set it to charge if I can um, I don't know if I have a cord with me or not, but I will try. Uh, if I don't get it to charge, then the next bits that you guys will see will be from my uh, my action camera, which is my water camera. And because it's in a waterproof case, the audio is not going to be good. So just bear with me, guys. Um, I'm still uh, getting used to this whole vlogging thing. And um, yeah, I'm still... Uh, still learning uh things of like uh like what i need to pack and how i need to plan for my battery life more and things like that so like i said bear with me but uh oh that's a nice view bear with me guys whilst i learn this and uh try my best to um make do with what i have um, I know I promised you guys that I would start filming more content and uh, start doing a little bit more things and I figured whilst I'm on my holiday I will try and uh, share that with you guys because really my goal with this channel is to become more of a travel channel um, and I just want to share like I just want to share things that I like with you guys like things that I like to do when I travel um, yeah, I just want to share share content with you guys and share like different activities I like, different sports, different explorations, uh, different like architecture and views and things of that nature. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I think I'm gonna I'm going to head over here and uh, have a bit of a swim. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna try and actually let me try and I'm gonna try and bring this uh, camera with me until it dies out, and hopefully set it up for a little minute and just show you uh, the process of me getting ready. I think I'm gonna leave my stuff here, just a bit out of the water, and uh, go from there. I can swim here. I mean, I'm not. I don't think I'm going to be in the, in the way of uh, any of the boats or anything like that. So, ideally, ideally, I'm okay. I've got uh, my little bag here with my wetsuit and my fins and my gloves. my life jacket because safety is important there we go all right guys I don't have oh. okay I don't have a um, tripod with me I don't know why I didn't bring my tripod I left it in the hotel so, bear with me. Bear with me. I'm just trying to see if I left something in here that I can use. Oh, guys, I didn't bring it. Right, guys, I'm gonna switch the vlog over to my little action camera. Um, so, we'll tune back in then because I need to put this away because I don't have anything to keep it from getting sandy. Alright guys, so we're at 30 minutes. I think it's a good time to cut it off. I don't want to make it too, too long. Um, I may even split these um, vlogs up into like different parts of the same episode. So like part one, part two, part three, part four, because I don't want to make the videos too long. Um, so yeah, anyways, I will get back to you guys once I've got all my kit on and everything, because um, I want to save a little bit of battery, 
battery on this camera to show you guys after I'm done getting dressed. Alright guys, see you in a minute. Guys, um, I don't know if you can see, I've got them all the way over there, all the way over here, and um, the water's still very shallow. Okay everyone, so I just wanted to explain a little bit um, as to what's happening or what's about to happen in this video because obviously my camera didn't capture everything. Um, but basically I was swimming in a, in a very low tide, very shallow uh, water, uh, which means I'm very close down to the actual uh, uh, sand 
portion of the of the ground there, and um, I came across a sea urchin. And obviously, I don't I don't know all the uh, different species of sea urchins. I don't know if that one's poisonous or not. So I decided to call the dive um, from that particular area and relocate at that point. So you're gonna see me um, kind of not panic, but just like realize like oh, like crap. Okay, you know. There's stuff here that's uh, fairly dangerous and in, in quite close proximity with limited space for me to maneuver without tearing up um, some of the other stuff around me. Um, so I decided to calmly swim away and um, basically abort the dive in that particular area. And at this point, I've decided I'm going to relocate to the other side of the beach um, or I'm going to relocate attempt to relocate and find someone that directly right to the other side of the beach where there's a bit of a better uh, area to swim. Uh, I can't go too much further out because there's boats and everything and I'm not sure like what the safe area is. I guess I'm assuming they have to stay like behind these like green things. I don't know but I think that's like where the safe like depths are for them to run their boats. But the thing is, I need to go out those depths to actually see anything more. And I don't want to get in the way because there's a lot of tours going on. So it's probably not the safest uh, option. But I might ask if there's somewhere else I can swim like further out. Um, but yeah, that uh, I'm not sure if that if that was a puffer fish or a sea urchin or something. I think it was a sea urchin. I don't know if they have those here or not, but I think it was. And yeah, if that's what it is and it's so close to the shore, then I don't really want to swim around it because well, there's nowhere for me to actually dive away from it. Deep enough. Shoes, guys. Ah. enough for me to uh, really see anything that I was hoping to see. And I might uh, try and go somewhere else. I'm going to see if uh, if anybody here has any sort of recommendations as to where else I can swim um, because I'd like to see more I mean I predominantly picked to come to Portugal to swim and see what's what's in the waters but uh, I haven't had much luck Perhaps, I mean, this tour, the latest they run is until 5 something. I don't know if the other uh, tour that I went on yesterday has a late, another late tour today. Like 
later one because this one um, they're only letting me stay until 5.30 but uh, yeah and this, this location is not as good for swimming the other location the water was a lot deeper like um, the water was a lot deeper like closer to the shoreline so you don't have to go out too far I mean it's not safe to go out too far considering I'm by myself and I don't know like all the rules here with the uh, boats and everything but um, anyways I'm gonna see if I can find a better spot. I've only been to one spot since I've been here. So let's see. Do you know the time? Uh, five past four. Five past four, thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Alright guys, I'm gonna ask these uh, skippers over here if they know anywhere that's better for diving or snorkeling because yeah, the water here is not uh, not really the best to be doing this so. To follow English, um, do you know somewhere that's better to uh, snorkel in here? Beside the coast, the near coast. the rocks. Near the rocks. Uh, inside we cannot fix it. Uh, how far from here? If you go into the restaurant section, yeah. back side of it. On the other side of it, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Oh. Um, you know, in the water, there's the green cones. Is that for the boat? So, is is that uh, like how far they can go out, or uh, where is it safe for me to swim from the boat? The coast, all the places safe. Oh, okay. The boats don't go near the rocks. Okay, know? okay. There, but you need to have a boy signalization. Uh, okay. Yeah. No. Be careful. Okay. Oh, really? Okay, if I go too far, or just in general. If you stay near the rocks, like I tell you. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Guys, I think I'm still recording, so yeah, hopefully, you guys can hear that. I know I've swapped over to the waterproof camera, so the audio is not going to be the best. But um, basically, I spoke to the skipper and he said that I need to go on the other side of the restaurant to the other beach and stay like near the coastal rocks. So he said that's the best place to kind of swim and see stuff and I'm thinking the water might be a bit 
a bit deeper on that side. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a shot because um, I don't have too much time, but I want to see. I want to see if I can find any sort of interesting fish in the water. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to cut the camera off here for now. I'd say the better for my guess. island and I could have been swimming here but I just had to track I swam for like maybe like 25 minutes on the other side I had to track like probably a good like another 20 something minutes to get back to this side of the island the water here is much better Savage, that's what it is. Bloody savage. So I'm going to try and swim where there's some people sat around, so at least if anything did happen with these waves or anything like that, then people can see me. Um, yeah, we'll give it a shot. The water looks a bit more rough here.
here or no, are you, where are you visiting I'm from? I'm only on holidays here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. where are you from? I'm from Lebanon. Lebanon? Yeah. Okay, I wow. live in uh, Amsterdam. Okay, how is Amsterdam? Fucking cold. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm from Canada initially, so yeah. I and understand. you live here? Uh, I moved to the UK. Okay. I'm living in England now, yeah. Whereabouts? Um, towards Bristol. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever been there? Not to Bristol, no. I've uh, been to London? Yeah. Yeah, I used to live in London, it's nice there. Uh, really nice, but expensive. It's very expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure I'm slowly getting... It's getting there. Levels. I think, yeah, it's becoming a very popular uh, tourist attraction, so it's going to go up. It's going to go up extensively. And I think with your uh, your weed laws and everything there, you know, in the cafes, I think it's more appealing to a different crowd as well. Like, yeah. I think a lot of people that are in the countries that are still against it, are trying to shift over to Amsterdam and all the places that have it. But it's interesting to see because we have it in Toronto as well, in Canada. They've legalized everything oh, and it's become very, very popular. Like, too popular. <laughs> um, they've opened up cafes on like every corner. The government started to like uh, give like grants to certain people at first to start it up. And um, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's bringing in a lot of tourism. So. But what, what have you done so it? far? I'm um, here until Friday, so tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah. Then you're going back, going back to England. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I leave tomorrow night. Yeah. Uh, How long did you come for? I'm leaving on Saturday to go to Lisbon. Okay. Uh, and I'll stay for another week between Lisbon and uh, Sheda, which is okay. like somewhere in Arendelle. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, somebody was telling me about that actually. Um, he was saying um, over in Argentina, there's meant to be like a, a very popular local dish there. It's made with like different like I think three types of fish. Um, I think there's like some type of like shellfish inside of it as well. And they said it's like a really really like traditional uh, okay. dish over there. But he said that uh, that um, that area is like a farm area. So they, I think they make like a lot of local like vegetarian dishes, like they, they said they live off of the farm foods basically. So it might be interesting to try some food over there. Yeah, yeah. The food's really good. Oh yeah, I love it. Well, it was nice, I came, I came to the uh, harbour front of Faro, obviously to get the boat tour here. And um, I found this little restaurant where I got a nice like whole fish, and that was my brunch, you know. It was nice just eat, eating a whole fish on the side of the harbour. <laughs> Couldn't do that in England really. Um, maybe at fish and chips. <laughs> yeah, the beaches are just not nice. Yeah. There are some nice beaches in England actually, to be fair, but, but yeah. nothing like this, I think. The water's much colder. <laughs> you have to go to like Wales or Devon or. Yeah. Where else have you been so far apart from like Portugal? And Lebanon. Were you born in Lebanon? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're born in Lebanon. Amsterdam. For Amsterdam. Five years now. Portugal. Uh, Where else have you been? I've visited, I mean, lots of places. What is linked to this a bit is Mozambique, because I stayed okay. there for three months. And they speak uh, uh, Portuguese that is much softer. Really? Uh, and here it just sounds so rough. Aggressive. Like, <laughs> so aggressive. I'm like, <laughs> That's funny. Have you um, have you heard like the difference between uh, European Portuguese and Brazilian Portuguese? No, what is no? Well, I guess the Brazilians are rough as well, the louder. Yeah. Like, I think as a Canadian, I would refer to them as like the Americans of <laughs> the Portuguese language. Uh, Americans are very loud, yeah. Because they're like more uh, lively and, and uh, yeah. No, but Mozambique is uh, different than the Brazilian. Portuguese from Portugal because it's very soft, like almost like they're singing it. Okay. Uh, and here it's just, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> not like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Gotta give them that. Oh, that's nice. Can you swim? Sorry. Can you swim? Yeah. Actually, I went down, but um, just up on. Here, yeah. and then I went back up yeah. because my bones 
Oh yeah, you, know, you, like, you need a wetsuit. Yeah, I mean, it, it was very refreshing to do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I couldn't last more than that. So you're not cold at all? No, no. Is. It's like, like you said, a refreshing feeling. It's just enough uh, to feel comfortable. Yeah. Because with, with these suits, uh, it traps water inside, and your body heats up the water, so you stay at that temperature for a while when you're swimming. Yeah, it's nice. What else have we got planned? Hostels, like I was initially, I was gonna go to Hostelicious. I don't know if you've seen that yeah, one. Yeah, I saw it. I walked past it. Yeah. Um, but then I, my friend decided to come with me last minute, so I was like, okay, like I'll just get like a normal hotel because I don't know what they're into, whatever. They just like they wanted to tag along. It was my birthday. Oh, um, really? Happy so, birthday! Thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just I ended up changing my plans like three times. Initially, I was gonna go to a resort, change that. Then switched to the hostel, changed that, ended up at this hotel. But I think the hotel is nice because it's very central. I don't know like where your hostel is located, but for me, I went to Stay Hotel, and all the tours, all the bars, everything is just surrounding it, so it's nice. Everything that I wanted to do is close. So. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's a small town, right? Yeah. Yeah, February the 15th, so just yesterday. Okay, yeah. congrats. Thank you. Did you fun? <laughs> I got really drunk. <laughs> I got really drunk, more drunk than I planned to, but it was nice. I ended up sitting down and chatting to some old couple for like two hours in a bar. Completely by mistake, but it was nice. I got to hear some stories about like World War II and, and all that stuff. Um, and then I ended up bar hopping from there and then ended up in some like students club. <laughs> So I don't know how I pull off. How I pull that off. But, um, I don't. Know, I don't remember what it was called. It was across from. Um, what was it called? Uh, oh, I'm trying to remember the name now. There's. A, did you know the club twice? I thought it was funny too. But anyways, it's next. It's next to that club if you see it later on. Uh, but it was nice. It's a two-story club. Very good. Yeah, 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 I yeah, yeah. Well. Where are you? I was going to talk. Okay. Uh, just sitting up there. And yeah. What time? Um, must have been because we left maybe at like 3.30, 4. Okay. So maybe like at 2, I was okay. there. Uh, bear with me, I, w I, w I need to check the time because I want to see uh, yeah, course, yeah. when the uh, boats come in. But, um, are you <laughs> what time is your boat going? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Mine too, yeah. Which one are you taking? Um, it's the ferry from the hop on, hop off. Oh, the ferry. Yeah, ferry, yeah. Oh, like the, you know, the yellow boat. The little yellow one, the speed one. Yeah, but that's like 15 minutes. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so maybe we're on the same one. Okay. <laughs> when I booked it, I booked it at the hop on, hop off boat tour, like in town. And then when I got, when I actually got to like where they were docking, it looked like it was a different like company. 
I think they're partnered, like... Let me see. I've got to... Are you going to be going out again later? What's your name? Teresa. Pardon? Teresa. Teresa. Okay. Jamar. Sorry? Jamar. Jamar. Yeah. Or nice Jay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, so do you usually travel like a lot by yourself or it you consider yourself a nomad? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I mean, if I can get those salaries of digital nomads, oh. sure, I'm happy <laughs> to become one. I wish. Okay. Uh, no, I'm based in Amsterdam, but this trip is just. Uh, so, so I actually my mom met me in Sevilla. Okay. We were in Spain, and then I came here uh, yesterday, and I've got some friends in Lisbon and uh, right. some friends in uh, Jaira, the uh, village thing. Uh, so yeah, I'm just sometimes I'm alone, sometimes I'm. With people, okay, cool. Um, let me see. Do you have Instagram? Uh, yeah. Zonder, Z O N D E R. It's gonna work. Z O N D E R. Oop. I don't know why my phone's doing that, but my hand's just. That's what it was doing for me too. I think I got it wet. Oh, is it not waterproof? No. <laughs> oh, then it's... you should dry it up because I thought it was... send you a message. She's very cute. She's very cute. I'm going 
going to head back. Yeah, now. guys, so as you've seen in the prior clip, I had run into this girl um, who was staying in a hostel near where I was staying. Um, and she was just asking me some questions about like my, my dive and like if I saw anything, etc, etc. Um, come to find out later, she is actually PADI certified, but she just hasn't really done too many dives in the past years. Um, but yeah, we just started chatting or whatever. She's a really lovely girl. Um, she's initially from Lebanon, but she currently lives in Amsterdam. Um, and yeah, so we exchanged details and whatnot, and uh, basically I told her, like, you know, when I, whenever I decide to come over to Amsterdam, perhaps you could uh, show me around and kind of be a bit of, like, a, a local tour guide. So, yeah, looking forward to that, guys. It was really sweet. Um, I think the vlog's going to end up cutting short here because I was looking for a toilet, um, and I still had my wetsuit on. So I got all the way to the toilet area and realized, actually, I've got my wetsuit on. There's no point because I don't want to have to go through taking it all off and then changing and everything like that. But in the end, I did suffer because <laughs> I'll put a clip in now, but I did go on to uh, the speedboat to get back to the harbor front of Pharaoh. And because I was still in my wetsuit, I was absolutely freezing. Temperature dropped significantly. Uh, the winds picked up. The sun was setting. Um, it was just overall a really bad idea to travel on that speedboat still in my wetsuit. Um, or at least without drying it off partially. Um, so yeah, I was very, very cold. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, I'm going to cut the vlog uh, fairly short here. I'll show you guys that clip. And uh, we'll move we'll move on to the next portions of the episodes um but yeah stay tuned I, I believe this was episode three or day three of episode four so yeah please subscribe uh leave me a thumbs up and uh drop some comments below of uh some positive criticism or uh just any sort of like remarks that you guys want to leave some advice or tips for uh upcoming videos but yeah also, guys, please bear in mind that I've been experimenting with some equipment um, that I'm not familiar with. And so that's why some of the, the footage isn't the best because I'm playing around with different angles and uh, different equipment and trying to figure out a setup that works for me in the style of vlog that I want to shoot. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.